Hi Explorers, and welcome to Clayton's Exploration Station, where we do fun at-home science experiments, plus learn about the world around us. Now, I've got a question for you, which is, what do we do when life gives us lemons? We make lemon batteries! Today, we're going to be powering this with this. How, you ask? By using the citric acid in the lemon juice as an electrolyte solution. The solution is used to conduct energy and we can make a battery out of it. Let's gather all of our materials so we can see this process in action while we take a deeper look into the science behind this experiment. Science! Today, we're using materials from this kit by 4M. It's their Kids Labs Kitchen Science Kit, one of the many great STEM kits they make. Included in the kit, you'll find detailed instructions, plus tape, a connection wire, two zinc plates, an LCD watch, and you'll need some items that aren't included in the kit, which are a lemon and two metal or metal plated forks. Now that we have everything we need, let's take a look at how it all fits together to harness energy and power our watch. First, we have our lemon. What we want to do is roll it around to loosen up the juice inside. The juice is our electrolyte solution, so we want to make sure we break up the juice compartments inside. Then, we're going to cut it in half. Just carefully cutting our lemon in half. Okay. Now, we need electrodes so we can capture the energy from our electrolyte solution. If you've seen a battery before, you may be familiar with the positive and negative side of it. All batteries have a positive connection, the cathode, and a negative connection, the anode. In our lemon battery, our metal forks are going to be our positive cathodes, and our zinc plates are going to be our negative anodes. The metal plating on the forks is less reactive than our zinc plates. Many times with this experiment, you'll see copper wire used as the positive cathode. For our next step, we want to take our watch and we want to connect our red positive wire to our positive cathode, the fork. So we'll use a little piece of tape for that. And our positive cathode. Then we want to take our negative black wire and connect it to our negative anode, our zinc plate. So we'll grab another piece of tape and get that connected. Grab one of our zinc plates and our negative wire. Wrap this tape around so it's connected well and won't come off. Now we've got our watch connected to a positive cathode and a negative anode. So what we'll do is we'll take the white connection wire that comes in the kit and connect it to our second cathode and anode. All right, so we're gonna need another two pieces of tape. Grab our positive cathode, secure the bare end of the wire to one of our metal forks. Then we need another piece of tape. We secure the other end of that white wire to our second zinc plate. Now we've got everything we need to make a circuit. So now we can insert our cathodes and anodes into our lemon halves and power up our watch. We'll start with our connection wire. So we'll go fork in this half, zinc plate in this half. Then we take our watch and we're gonna put the opposites in. So the lemon half with our fork in it, we're gonna put the zinc plate. And the lemon half with the zinc plate already in it is gonna get the fork. This completes the circuit and we'll get to see our watch turn on. What's happening now is a chemical reaction. Electrons, which are subatomic, meaning smaller than an atom, and have a negative charge, are moving between the zinc plates and the metal forks. This creates an electrical current, which in turn powers our watch. Our watch turned on almost immediately after we completed our circuit. There you have it, explorers. We succeeded in using some fruit from the kitchen to make a homemade battery. There are several different ways to do this experiment at home. You can replace the lemon with a potato, or you can use zinc nails as your anode or copper wire as your cathode. You can even use alligator clips to connect to different items you'd like to power. A watch like ours or an LED bulb 
even a calculator. We liked the simplicity of the Kids Lab's Kitchen Science Kit for beginners trying this experiment. Now, we're gonna head outside and see if there's enough juice left in this lemon to power Walter's electric car. For more fun at-home science experiments, subscribe to Clayton's Exploration Station on YouTube and social media so you don't miss any fun in the lab. Stay curious, explorers! Clayton's Exploration Station.